All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to have some serious fun. After many delays, heartache, and disappointment, we finally get our hands on 2022-23 Parkhurst Champions, right here on the Just Hockey Cards channel. All right, boys and girls, I cannot tell you how happy I am to finally, finally hold in my hot little hands 22-23 Parkhurst Champions. I have been excited about this set as soon as it was announced, and then it was delayed, and then it was delayed, and then it was delayed, and then it was delayed. It was delayed, 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 and it got delayed. And uh, so then Series 2 came out, and we knew it was going to be uh, the week after, and it got delayed. So we finally have our hands on it, and I'm very excited. I love the idea of it. I love the throwbacks. I love, I love the history of Parkhurst. It's an awesome set. We got 20 packs in here, eight cards per pack. And what we can expect in every box is at least one autograph or one memorabilia card. Memorabilia cards can also be autographs. So we got that going for us. One additional hit, whatever that may be, you can look for four base rookies or legends SP cards, four base rainbow parallels, two base color variations, one base gold rainbow parallel, and three of those really cool 5152 retro sets. And then of course we've got like the uh, the jukebox heroes, tomorrow's riches, the 1950s flashbacks, which I don't really care much about those. The wire images, those are pretty cool. Lots of great stuff inside this box. The big hits are going to be very, very, very hard to hit. And I like that, especially from a box that is reasonably priced. $118. Sure sh beats $330 or more. There's no guarantee for an auto in every box. And once again, I kind of I kind of like that too. It makes an autograph something that's really special instead of something that I feel like I'm entitled to especially if it's going to be an autograph from a legend. So here we go, pack number one down the left-hand side. So here's a look at the base. Nothing special, nothing spectacular, but it does have that old-school Parkhurst vibe to it. The back looks good. The paper is great quality. This is like, this feels like a good, high-quality product at a reasonable price. So we got the bread man there. We've got a Alex DeBrincat. I guess that would be a silver, a silver, silver parallel. That's hard for me to say for some reason. I'm going to put this one in the back. Let's see what else we got. We got Kirby Doc, Ovi, Ryan Hartman, Evan Bouchard. Well, let's see what our gold card is. Or is this silver, gold, rainbow parallel? I don't know. Hopefully it'll tell us on the back. We've got a Jack Hughes. That is a cool looking card. Well, I am just going to, yeah, this has got to be the rainbow parallel. That is a beautiful looking card. So pack number two here. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, if you like the video, please give it a like. Make sure you subscribe and turn those notification bells on so that you can get updates on us doing cool stuff. There's rookie Jonathan Kavichik, I think. Troy Terry, veteran, and uh, we got our first wire card. Is, what is it called again? Wire image. Now, why is it called a wire image? Because it looks like something from the news, right? There's Jonathan Huberto. Huberto set an NHL record for most assists in a season by left wing. Yeah, so see, it's like it's like a uh, exactly what it says. It's a wire photo, like an off the AP wire. There's Barzal, Roslovic, Wierenski, and Evan Rodriguez. All right, pack number three here. We definitely want some legends cards here. Oh, yeah, legends. 
Ooh, we've got Jordan Spence rookie right up front there. Sebastian Ajo. Kyle Ocpozo with a silver. And we got our first 51 52. Bob Bourne. How cool are these guys? The back is awesome. What a cool, fun set. Here we go. Size comparison. So, I mean, my God. A red parallel that's signed by Wayne Gretzky. Want. And base. So, historically, I am not a set collector. I collect a couple of key players that I like. And I sell everything that I don't like. But I see myself trying to put a set together of this. It'll be like my first one. It was Frederick Karlstrom, rookie. Lexi Lafreniere. And what have we got here? Oh, that is so sick. Bobby Orr. I think it's his birthday today. So this is a color variant. That is a sick looking card. So I feel like since it's his birthday, I think that's sleeve worthy. And a base. All right, next pack here. Hey guys, want to shout out all of the new subscribers to the channel. It has been just a whirlwind week of just, I, I can't believe how many new subscribers there are just from the last video. Really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the, uh, oh, awesome. Jean Plant. And, okay, so see, it does say up there, silver. Let me look at this one. So obviously it is silver, but see the, um, the rainbow doesn't say anything. Interesting. It's an Owen Power rookie. <laughs> to think these guys are still coming up as rookies. Ryan Donato, Jonathan Quick, and the veteran. All right, here's our second stack of stuff. Jamie Drysdale is a veteran. There's a guy like 20, 21. There's Mark McLaughlin with the rookie card. I love the just the fade and and, and guys, you get some of these just to feel the texture of the cards. They, they're just awesome. There's a Mark Stone veteran, and we've got a die cut on the back here. Let's put that on the back. I think that's going to be one of our treasures, future treasures or whatever. Krug, you see Saros. And this way. Yep, it's a treasure chest. Who is it? Lucas Raymond, Tomorrow Treasures. Very cool. Now, see, I'm not sure this goes in with the whole 50s theme or whatever, but it is a definitely a cool-looking card. And these can be signed as well. They use a, uh, like a silver Sharpie. Guys, another way you can support the channel is to join us in the Collector's Club. What is the Collector's Club, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you did. Every month I upload specific members only content just for the Collectors Club. We have our Retro Wednesday breaks where we open up awesome boxes of cards from the 80s and 90s, early 2000s. We have live stream hangouts uh, like the Friday night brews and breaks where we get together, have a couple of tall boys, open some cards together. It's a lot of fun and lots, lots more cooking and coming up soon. So. If you're interested, check out that button down below that says join and you get all of the information you need to make a decision on whether the Collector's Club is right for you. Philip Tomasino is a veteran now. <laughs> Jack McBain is a rookie. And we have a Shvechnikov silver. And behind that we have another rainbow, Joel Erickson Eck. Very nice. These cards are beautiful. Patrick Kane, Zabinajad, and Kubalik. So there are other color uh, blues, I believe, and reds. There's 
Dylan Sandberg on the front there with the rookie card. Another rookie, Matthias Michelli and Darnell Nurse with the silver parallel. Ah, we got our next, our next 51, 52. We got Jacob Peralt. These are so cool. And base. All right, next pack here. Down the left-hand side, we got one more left after this to the left. William Carlson, we got Zach Hayes, rookie. And we got a Thomas Bortolo, rookie, in the silver. Old one of his autos not too long ago. There's Soderblom, Tavares, Shabbat, Seth Jones, and Carlson. All right, next pack here. I tell you with the prices of Series 2. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with uh, SP Authentic going to be... SP Authentic's going to be five to six hundred bucks on release day. I guarantee it. We got Game Abused coming out. Uh, we got all these things with 23, 24 that are just, to me, Matthew Barzal is a nice one. We got another rainbow here. Shea Theodore. To me, the ROI on those boxes is just not there, and I foresee opening up a lot of this. All right, here we go down the right-hand side. We still have some colored parallels to hit. We got one more itty-bitty 51, 52. So we've got some, and we still have an auto coming up. So we've got some stuff ahead of us to look forward to here. Jonathan Taves with the silver parallel. And here is Andre Vasilevsky with the wire image. Super cool. You know, these kind of remind me of some of those um, Tim Hortons cards. Just kind of have that look and feel to them. And some bass. All right, we got Dolin, Nick Ebrzesi. We got Nazim Kadri with our silver parallel. And behind that, whoa. Hey, I didn't know. That is pretty cool. Matthias Michelli, that is, I guess, a rainbow variation of the 5152, numbered 41 out of 51. That is cool. I didn't even know about these. Could be my imagination. This pack. So we know that we're getting memorabilia. Let's set this one aside. I can sniff out a patch card like a fart in a car. Hey guys, something else worth mentioning, these base cards and the base parallels are in excellent condition. The uh, the quality control is just very good here. Got Kevin Hayes with the, the uh, silver and the base. All right. Last of this stack. I think we've already, I, th I think we could probably consider that 5152 uh, numbered gold would be probably our other hit. I'm not sure how this works. <laughs> Roman Yossi with a silver. And we got a Marco Rossi rainbow. Now, why does this one say rainbow? Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, this is one I just pulled. And that says rainbow. Then we have these. Okay. Oh, I think I see here. So look, so this one doesn't say anything on it. That's obviously a rainbow.
but it don't say. This one is a regular rainbow, and this is a gold rainbow. It's only one of these per box. So these are pretty short print. All right, last stack down the right-hand side. Guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get updates when we're doing cool stuff. I'm gonna be opening up a lot of this shit. I'm not lying. I'm really, really having a good time here. Frederick Anderson, and we got another. So does this say? This says rainbow. So that's Isaac Ratcliffe rookie rainbow or rainbow rookie. I guess it's a matter of perspective. All right, next pack here. And this one is being a wise guy. Let's try it from the bottom. There we go. There's Gino. We got Mad Sogard, still a rookie all these years later. Jacob Markstrom, and we got a treasure chest again. Tomorrow, Riches. Kent Johnson. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this uh, this set does have 2021 and 2022 rookies in it. So we got a, what was the other one we got? Most Cider, yeah. No, Lucas Raymond, it was Lucas Raymond. Base. Just a few packs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry, there's another box. Another video, another video. TJ Oshi veteran card. Hey, we got another one of these. Okay, so I guess the uh, the short print one doesn't apply to our run. So we got a little Michael Bunting here. I just love the background. Base. Two packs to go, then our memorabilia pack. Nikita Kucherov, we got Dawson Mercer here. And we got another, ah, uh, William Nylander. This is the color variant, right? Yeah. Oh, these are sick. All right, last pack, then we've got our memorabilia. I mean, I guess it's not un impossible to get an autograph here too, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that we didn't get a 5152 variant here. So we've got Tristan Jari, we've got uh, Sam Girard, and we got another legend card, Lanny McDonald. That's pretty cool. And some base. All right, boys and girls, here is. Our last pack, there's Bobby Brink, rookie. I don't like the flyers with torts there. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking the, uh, the, the weekly drama that goes with having John Tortorella as your coach. Okay, so we got Ross Levick there. Let's put this to the side. Now, is it, so it's a rookie. Well, I would much rather it be a legend, but We'll take what we can get. So who's our rookie? 54, Dylan Sandberg with the swatch card here. Well, poop. Well, they can't all be winners. All right, the hits, the hits, the hits. We've got a few that I would like to discuss. The quality control of this product is pretty much off the charts. It's fantastic, except for these rainbow variations. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but it feels like every one of these, like right through here, there's like two spots. Dink, dink. Dink, dink. Dink, dink. There's an extra one there. Well, let me tell you, I can deal with that as opposed to how shit most of the stuff has been lately. We did get a gold rainbow variation, Joel Erickson Eck there. Probably pretty hard to get one of those. I don't, I'm not sure. One per box, I guess it's gotta be pretty short print. The other shiny gold is this teeny tiny Matthias Michelli. 41, 41 out of 51. The 5152 variant there. 
Get a couple of pots of gold this close to uh, St. Patrick's Day. Color variant William Nylander there. As well as this pretty sweet Bobby Orr. Happy birthday. A couple of sweet legend cards here. Jacques Plante and Lanny McDonald. And then a couple of the wire images. And then our hit was a swatch from Dylan Sandberg. I guess they can't all be Wayne Gretzky auto patches, huh? All right, hey, I'm pretty happy with this. I enjoyed opening this. I, I'm gonna have fun editing this because I've gone on and rambled and I have almost 45 minutes of footage just opening up one fucking box of hockey cards. But I'm gonna be getting some more and you guys are gonna be watching it right here on the channel. Didn't get any of the jukebox heroes, didn't get any of the 50s flashbacks, which I don't really care about the 50s flashbacks. Um, didn't get a blue border, so there's a lot to look forward to. Like I said, the hits are gonna be hard to hit, and I'm kinda liking that. I, I think the um, I think the series one and series two, you know, uh, three base, four chase, or whatever the f it is, I, I, th I think that's kind of spoiling us as to how special it's supposed to be to get a cool card. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like the set? Are you going to be getting some of your own? What was your favorite card from this box? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hey, and if you really want to help support the channel, why don't you join us in the Collector's Club and see some exclusive members-only content? Hey, make sure you got those notifications turned on so that you can get updates on cool stuff like this. Hey guys, if you like this video, why don't you check out one of these other ones here? I bet you're gonna find something that you really like.